Um, I would like to introduce our API 570 Authorized Piping Inspector course. Now, if you go to our website, we got then go to ICP courses, uh, individual certification program, and click on this. You'll find the list of our courses, including a 570 piping inspector course. And this course comes in three options, mock exam package that includes flashcards, uh, pictorials, plus the, uh, the whole set of practice questions and quizzes and uh, four sets of uh, mock exam questions. The premium comes with all of the mock exam package in plus the highlights of the publication effectivity sheet in the form of slides and the piping inspector full course comes with all of the premium mock exam package plus all detailed core uh, lessons. So let's click on this and see what you would get for this code. This is an online course and we have three categories of uh, distance on technical queries. It's myself Ash. Most does the general queries, anything with payment, any general question. And Masood is the our IT manager. If you have any IT or access problem, in case we seldom have uh, queries on this. Uh, it comes with a free quiz. Now also you can study the first and second module for free. This course is a CPD accredited, continuing professional development. So at the end of the course, you get a certificate of achievement for 60 CPD credit hours that you can use uh, to enhance your CV. Or if you are a member of a professional body, such as a uh, uh, professional engineer or chartered engineer or incorporated engineer or planning to do, to get such certification, you need CPD. Um, also, if you are a API inspector for recertification, you need some uh, CPD credit hours that this certificate would help you. It comes with seven hours of video, 208 lectures, 1000 questions, and 3300 cue cards and flashcards. For any reason whatsoever, if you could not attend or you failed the exam, we renew it again for free. For another four months. This course uh, gives you 120 days, 24 7 course access with online support. Now, module one explain the study plan, document navigation, scoring area, exam tips, and 20 sample questions. Module two we explain the body of knowledge in detail and important terms and definitions. And our model three through 10, each module is covering all the publication effectivity sheet reference materials. Uh, that includes API 570, piping inspection code, 571, damage mechanism, corrosion, 574, piping inspection practice, 576, Pressure relieving devices 577, welding inspection 578, uh, material verification program or positive material identification PMI, PCC2, repair of piping, ASME section 5, NDE section 9, welding engineering such as WPS and WPQ, ASME section B16.5 flange and pittings and as may be 31.3 piping construction code. This comes with detailed explanation of these reference documents, including knowledge and concepts, important facts and figures, PowerPoint presentation, video clips, flashcards, and practice questions. On module 11, we have highlights of the reference study material within the publication effectivity sheet and Module 12, we have 19 sets of flashcards that are taken from the highlights of the modules and should be treated as potential exam questions. Module 13 has 1,000 mock exam questions between four sets of closed and open book as well as 
all the practice questions and quizzes. Uh, this course is designed by our SMEs, who are all, all of them are authorized piping inspector, and many of them have got their certification within the last three to six years, so they are quite up to date, and it's uh, checked by them, uh, and it is uh, designed in the spirit of API examination that is a focused on verifying your knowledge and how to apply them. If you have bought uh, any of our courses, uh, or MOOC exam, or premium one, you can always upgrade by just paying the difference only. Comes with lots of selective videos, exam tips, time management techniques, and MOOC exam with explanations, and many more and uh, be as a part of our continuous improvement program we pay special attention to candidates feedbacks and one of our key performance indicators to minimize this uh, any queries they have because uh, that means we haven't explained it well enough so uh, so far we are on target and we have the minimal queries fortunately you can see here that the MOOC exam, what MOOC exam package got contains and the premium MOOC exam package contains. You can study our first and second module for free as well as try our quiz for free, write to us or send us a built WhatsApp text message if you have any queries. I'll just quickly go through the course content. Uh, your tour of what you will get. So the first model is dedicated to basic facts, has some exam tips, and it's got a benchmark quiz. Now model two, we discuss the body of knowledge and the scoring area. So you know, should be focused on what to study to maximize your the effectiveness and efficiency of your study plan. Uh, we will uh, highlight the uh, important terms and definitions and vocabulary of what they mean and because API exams are actually uh, basic level so it's very important that you understand the meaning and concept and specifically the terms and definitions. And the section 5 um, is covered in Model 3 and it includes introduction to NDE, general requirements, uh, leak test, magnetic particle test, penetrant test, radiography, UT thickness measurement, UT, and comes with four sets of flashcards and two sets of practice questions. Welding engineering comes with welding procedure as a section 9, welder qualification, welding materials, uh, welding procedure specification and builder performance qualification, WPS and WPQ, and comes with flashcards and practice questions. API 577 welding inspection covers welding processes, the eight most popular processes such as shielded metal arc building, submerged arc building, gas tanks and arc building and the like. And then the welding inspection before, during and after welding comes with a presentation of visual inspection and also a presentation of welding defects and repairs and complete with cue cards and practice questions. On module 6 we shall cover damage mechanism that gives you a detailed explanation of what types of damage mechanism you might encounter, important terms and definition, and all the damage mechanism that you should know as an API 570 piping inspector as per publication effectivity sheet. And it comes with six sets of flashcards and five sets of practice questions. On module seven, we shall be discussing uh, piping construction code B31.3 and it comes with flashcards. Now, module 8, we shall be discussing B16.5 
French and fittings that comes again with flashcards and quiz. On module 9, we shall be covering pipe 74 inspection practice, PCC tool repair of piping, pipe 76 pressure relieving devices, and pipe 78 positive material identification. And they come with quiz and flashcards. Module 10, we explain the API 570, the all important piping inspection code in much detail. And as you can see, there are lots of flashcards and practice questions as well as detailed explanation of this code. On module 11, we have 78 lessons and they are basically the highlights of the publication effective sheet. So when you are reading the codes and recommended practices, uh, you can zoom in on this. And this includes uh, asthma section five, asthma section nine, welding, API 577 welding inspection, 578 PMI, 576 pressure relieving devices, 571 corrosion or damage mechanisms 574 piping inspection practice 570 piping inspection code then finally e16.5 piping and uh, flanges and fittings and b31.3 piping construction code and then we brought again all the flashcards at one place so if you want for quick referral you can go through them model 12 and lastly the model 13 covers uh, the benchmark quiz uh, the practice question on nde on welding engineering welding inspection damage mechanisms flange fitting piping quiz and practice questions as well as four sets of mock exams. If you have any query, you can always contact us uh, by hitting this contact button or you can simply text us by a WhatsApp line and uh, depending on nature of queries, you can contact three sections of our so, Thank you.